Om. Hmm. So, I uh, wanted to make another short video, maybe this one's a little longer, about Ashtanga practice. Um, the Ashtanga practice really is a, it's a relationship with yourself, with your body, with your nervous system, with energy, and really over time, you should experience a very strong developing evolution to the practice. So typically speaking, when you first begin your practice, it's natural to have most of the focus on the body. So we're, it's, it's a kind of what I call a kind of physical therapy yoga. It's like you're focused on your body, you're focused on kind of improving your body, you're also focused on maybe healing some dysfunction or some uh, pain, some chronic pain or some imbalance. And of course, there's concern about, uh, you know, some kind of injury happening. So that's typically uh, kind of uh, initially what you're going to experience your practice as. Now, as time evolves, uh, you really want to see uh, kind of a deepening. So uh, your focus is going to naturally shift. Mm -hmm. So initially, the focus is mo mostly on the body, but then over time, it's going to become more subtle. So actually, your focus is going to start to move uh, over time, it's going to move more towards the breath. So the quality of the practice then becomes not determined by how you feel physically or what you're able to do or not able to do, but actually it's going to shift to the quality of your breathing. Like, not only the quality of the breathing, but also the, the quality of your attention to your breath. So kind of continuous mindful awareness of breath. Okay? Um, now, as you focus more on the breath, then very naturally, uh, you're going to be much more in relationship with the quality of your mind or your attention, okay? So as you evolve in your practice, then it's going to be much more about focus, mm -hmm. being present, being mindful. So really, uh, as your practice has evolved, you should notice that you're going to see much more of a kind of a continuous uh, stream, you could say, of mindful awareness mm, of conscious awareness of breath, quality of breath, flow of breath. So there's going to be a kind of a fluid, kind of more fluid state. And that's really, um, uh, that's really for me a very big sign of the evolution of deeper evolution of practice is when your, your attention starts to shift off of your body and more on what I would call uh, the cultivation of a flow state, okay? That is basically uh, in which you are not so much fixated on your body, but you're more focused on the breath. And you're more focused on a continuous flow of mindful awareness. So there's gonna be a great deal, uh, uh, an increasing amount of presence, uh, um, yeah, of, and this, Mm, you could say the qualities of mindful awareness will start to emerge more and more strongly in the practice, right? That means um, that there will be, um, yeah, less, less analysis, less mental or intellectual analysis, and more into a, a more and more pure state of presence, in which you are, again, just in this continuous flow of mindful awareness, of the flow state. So that would be like um, a calmness, a centeredness within. Um, it's almost like, uh, and it's naturally you're gonna experience your less, less and less over time as the doer of the practice, right? You're not the one who's actually doing your practice. You're more in the, in a state in which you are experiencing the practice kind of moving through you or coming through you. Mm -hmm. So the whole sense of ego, the whole sense of separate self, then naturally begins to soften 
and begin to reduce. So you have much more of a sense of uh, the uh, kind of the pure presence of the practice, the energetic flow of the practice, the, the state of, um, you could say more and more the state of no mind. So naturally there should be less and less sort of analysis, less and less activity in your kind of intellect state. Um, so that's really kind of how you should be seeing the evolution of your practice. So, thank you. Um.